Okay, I am finally back at you guys with Sephora Home. Sephora Home, guys. Sephora Home. Wait, just wait, just wait, I'm coming. Sephora Home. Yay, finally. I'm so ready for this. So if you are interested in what I got in my bag, go ahead and stay tuned. So I went to Sephora and I actually went to like three Sephora's because I was looking for specific things that I could not find at certain ones and I live in Austin, Texas so we have um, I believe two standalone Sephora's. One is like Great, Hill, Great Hills North and the other one is like First Street South. Like they are polar opposites from each other. Then I went to the one in the mall which I thought was a freestanding one but I was wrong. It is a um, Kitty, kitty move. Kitty. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be my cat. Anyway, she's always like, who the hell are you talking to? Like, she looks behind the camera. So there's a Sephora that is in um, Barton Springs in the mall. There's one in there, but I thought it was free standing, and it is not. It was just kitties. I got there, it was like 8 35. It was like a mad dash to Sephora. Anyway, and they didn't have a These are the Baby C Z palettes um, that they teamed up with Sephora to do, and they were ten dollars each. So I was like, throw them in the bag up. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna open this one just in case you've never seen a Z palette before. So put these on the back and stick it in there. As well as it comes with a depotter tool, you know, something that helps you get the product out of the container. So I'm pretty happy about that, which I didn't know that was in there. So pretty excited for ten dollars. For those e palettes, I went ahead and picked up two Sephora collection blushes, and they are pretty. I got them in powder. One is a uh, Hey Jealousy. And the other is Two Hots, number Four eyeshadows, pretty much in essential browns. Like, I'm pretty boring when it comes to eyeshadow now. Oh God, let's take a moment of silence to look back on those old four-year-old videos <laughs> before YouTube saved my life and showed me how to beat this thing down. Anyway, I so well, now it, I kind of stick with, you know, uh, warm, like neutral colors. It's like creating a light show on my wall. I'm so easily distracted. But, um, okay, so, um, let's go with the mattes first. And matte, I got, a uh, Panama. 
um, roasted chestnut. color I got was morning mocha. Pinkies up. <laughs> okay, and then I got one shimmer because it was so pretty. And it is called Tiramisu. Okay, now I hope the struggle isn't as hard with these. I should have just opened them off camera. Okay, one second. I went ahead and pre-opened them off camera because that was taking way too long wasting up my damn camera space. Anyway, okay, so let's start with mo morning mocha swatch. Okay, so here is the swatch. <laughs> that is morning mocha. Morning mocha. And then here is Panama Weekend. Oh, it's so soft. Yes, I'm going to love that as a lid color. I'm going to work a little faster because I'm losing light here, guys. Typically film my videos after I get home from class around 3 o'clock. So, work with me. Bear with me. I'm also investing in the Diva Light. It's, it's coming. It's coming. Birthday. Is next month. I picked up this Cover X um, matte setting powder. I think it's in the color deep. It is in the color deep. And um, I picked this up, which I was kind of mad that I did because I just recently got approved for Cover X uh, Pro program. But I was like, oh, it's fine. I'll just be excused to go and buy more things, obviously. But before I bought this one back in, um, well, repurchased this back in um, November. Yeah, but I was having issues with the space on my computer, so I wasn't able to get out my first or last haul of the year or whatever, 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 whatever. But whatever. I love this one. It works well for me, but I just wanted to play around with some other ones because, you know, it's just good to see until you find the one that works perfect for you. Okay, so um, with Cover X, it looks like. Ooh, looks like this. Deep on it. Okay, open it for you guys. And then in here, it has a little spout. And I, you just pull that up. Obviously, I don't think I'm going to do that right now, but just stay tuned for more videos because I'm pretty sure I'll be using it after I receive my lights and I can give you like true video tutorials slash, slash redemption for those old videos. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I just refuse to delete them because it just, you know, you can look back and be like, oh, that was me at 2021. Oh, oh my goodness. Everyone say say a prayer for them shades and colors. Bronze all over my forehead and blush all over my cheeks, okay? We all grow. We all gotta grow, okay? <laughs> Thank you to the YouTube gurus who helped me to do so. I love you guys. You are the real MVP. Let's move it on. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Then I picked up this. This is more like a I need to get out of the store, but I can't stop grabbing shit. 
It's a eyeliner, 24 hour felt waterproof one. I think it's like $12 or something. But I grabbed this one because if you did not know what I've been <laughs> what I've been using to flick these eye, using to flick this eyeliner flick is <laughs> Elf's $3 liquid eyeliner. Yes, ma'am. But the only thing about that one is it's not very long wearing. And I just went ahead and picked up this because mama was getting close to her to her budget. But I did I do want to try Cap on D's. A tattoo liner or whatever it's called. I want to try that one, but you know, I had to stay, I had to stay in a little budget. Uh oh, that's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh, it already nick green right there, just coming out of the cap, and it's pretty black. Can y'all see that? All right, so this is the felt tip, pretty nice, and then I'll just put a Put a swatch on the back of my hand although obviously i recognize that your inner eye duct is different in texture on the back of your hand but to share with you guys i'll just swatch right here didn't drag went right on on right it went right on yes it went right on <laughs> and it's pretty black so you know i'll use it until i can get out there and get that cat bun d which will probably be next month around my birthday march 23rd shameless yeah. birthday. on my birthday Come in my videos and throw some batteries at me, okay? Because I'm about to be 27. <laughs> I'm sitting right by my window, so I hope nobody is just like looking at me like, what's wrong with this girl? Who the fuck is she coming for? Okay, so we're going to close to the end of this Urban Decay All Night All Nighter Makeup Spray, Setting Spray. And I heard really good things about this. I actually believe it was on my Instagram um, one of the pages that I follow she had some like um, quote I guess she had just purchased them and over it it was like makeup about to last longer than any relationship I've been in and I was like girl shit what would I do that at I need to go get some right now and I actually did so um, I'm excited to try this because everyone everyone People on Instagram were raving about it. So yeah, I should not even do this one. It came with some paper, there, but I'm lazy and I almost feel like picking it up right now. And this is what the front looks like. I'm excited to try this. I just put on setting spray, but I guess oh wow, it's got a top and then and another top. Tops on flick. Mm. I don't know. I already had some on, so I guess it kind of defeats the purpose, but got my first little pumps in, you know. I just wanted to play in it. That's what this is all about, right? Playing. So, yeah, I'm and excited about using this. I have purchased this one again for my November slash December slash when all the sales on makeup and the gray kits are going on, the holiday season shopping. I picked up um, this Makeup Forever one, and baby, do you see that? Do you see where it is at in the bottle? Mama did not play with this one. Mama did not play. This is my first time trying this. I, I even left a review on it. I was very thoroughly impressed. I've always used MAC Fix Plus, and um, finally I was like, you know what? Let me just play around. I don't know. I guess since I'm trying to get back into the hang of my YouTube and be more consistent with things. I've been wanting to just play around play around with more products so that we could grow and progress together. Oh, yeah, you know so much of this. Like it's damn near gone. But the only drawback with this one was that the when it sprays out sprays out it's kinda hard and it startles me. It was startling me at first but I got better with it. I got used to it. That was not a deal breaker for me. Because, you know, I will probably buy another one or go buy another one. But I, I want to see what this is talking about first, you know. I'm excited to try this and see if it does all that it says that it does. Next, I finally got the... <laughs> the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kits. Yes, ma'am. I've been waiting to get this. I've been putting my counts together. 
so that mama can get this and mama is excited okay this is what i was talking about why i tried the um pro i mean la girl pro conceal last time i have been using that and i was like then i'll go this on is to the more expensive brand <laughs> that i chose to go with so i am pretty excited about that because we all know that anastasia beverly hills is cruelty free and that her line is pop, 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 popping okay if you don't know that get from under the rock because i was just under the rock get from under it and meet me as a four okay so let's break into this bad boy it comes with a little slip cover which is cool makes it look that even more nicer and i don't know if y'all watched the last video and and found out but i'll reset it again i love packaging i'm obsessed with it okay so here it is here are the shades i got the medium to tan when i believe there are two options like light to medium or fair to light i don't know i got the one for the tan sisters tan 365 you know us more that's the last these are the last three things from this thingy are lippies yay oh wait in a brow pencil i guess i'll start that and then i finally finally got the brow definer i remember i think back in december i had picked up the brow brow wigs and it's right here somewhere this should be Right here, I used I picked up this one back in December, and this one is in the color ebony. So I'll give you a swatch of that. Just yes, I have never had my eyebrows arched. I'm almost 27 years old, and I've never had my eyebrows arch but that's what i'm gonna do on my birthday i'm gonna get my eyebrows arched and say welcome to grown up life hey 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 i'm so much closer to 30 i'm probably the only person that's alive about getting closer to 30 because i'm tired of people treating me like a kid mama is tired of being you 18 no girl i'm about to be i'm almost 30 people be acting like i'm 18 years old Get 20. Oh, wait, wait, how much? 0.2 grams. 0.2 grams in here, if anybody ever wants to know that. Oh, much thicker. See, I already think I'm gonna like this better because it feels like it's gonna be more control. And for me, I'm kind of beginner to brows. Obviously, I've never had them art, so I'm just like feeling around in the dark with getting them to look right i mean i used to just draw it in with the black and then i found out like oh don't do that black is too black but it's crazy because my eyebrow hair is literally black it's not like brown or anything but i digress i don't argue with the pros i just go oh, ahead and brush it up one in has a spoolie brush for a brush and then the other has this unique little um end where the other one was pointed you see the one is pointed and the other has a little wedge point on it Okay, and then on the brow wiz, the spoolie is very thin, very thin. And on the brow definer, it's a little bit thicker, more action to work with there. And then equally as well, I mistakenly got this one in dark brown.
And the first one I got in Ebony. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, I don't think that it should be that big of a difference. But we shall see. I don't know. It is kind of brown. I was thinking about know, maybe I can mix the two together and get a nice custom shade that looks um that looks natural. So that crazy line on the top, that's ebony in the brow wiz, and the line below is um the brow definer, the newest one from the line in dark brown. Okay. So yeah. And then that top black line is that felt tilt Sephora eyeliner. From the first yeah, bag, I got um, a Stila lippy and a Kat Von D lippy, which I was really pretty excited about. I'm trying, trying my first time. everlasting lip, liquid lipstick, so I'm excited about that. And then I was upselled by the. Um, by the Sephora sales lady and I was looking for a purple and I just had a simple Sephora color because I'm obsessed with purple. I buy purple from everybody's brand a thousand times. I don't care if it look is exact dupe. I still be buying it because I'm retarded. I'm crazy like that. So yes, um, this is Stila's Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. And she she, she, she su suggested the color Chianti? 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 I'm not sure what that says. I'm gonna call it Chianti. Need a swatch of that yeah, one because I was too like it was very beautiful. Because the color I was trying to get was in the cell cell bin, and it had been open, and so she didn't want to let me walk out of there. Which she's the she's the second real realist MVP because. Mama didn't want to have no nasty bacteria okay, so yeah, stuff. Here it is. I try not to go too live with lippies because I still have this dry cosmetics haul over here. So I try to keep it contained. Okay, and then I'm just gonna give you a swatch. That is beautiful. It is like the darkest, most beautiful, like purpley color. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. First, I like to thank Sephora and their consultants for helping me find the best color. This is what I've been looking for. A dark is pretty. I can't wait to see what it looks like on my actual lips. Okay. So, and I think the color I got from, oh yeah, this one from Cap and D, packaging, label name on the outside. Okay, I'm running out of battery space. Classic, so I got I'll leave you too, all over everywhere. You guys have already seen it swatched, swatch, but I'm just going to give you an example of my pretty honey skin. similar to a color I just got but I don't care cuz I like it <laughs> yeah these are pretty hmm so pretty what do they call that like dusty mauvey pink 